But over in California, the man who invented one of the first autonomous cars is actually setting his sights a little higher. After spending endless hours of my life in a self-driving car, usually stuck in traffic, I realized even if you succeed and build the perfect self-driving car, it'll still be stuck in traffic. And then you look up in the sky and realize, wow, there's just nothing there. There's, the, the sky is always empty. Sebastian is often hailed as the godfather. Not necessarily godfather as in the mafia, the godfather as in like the, the founding father. Yeah, I've heard this about self-driving cars too. His driverless car became the first to win one of America's most prestigious research prizes, and he became a world-renowned expert on the topic. Now, I think there's a vision here, a new technology, and I'm really looking forward to a time when generations after us look back at us and say how ridiculous it was that humans were driving cars. But soon, he shifted gears. We want to invent the flying car. It'd be so much easier if you could lift yourself up a few hundred feet and be out of the way of everything. Then you can go in a straight line. There's no obstacles. It can be much safer than cars ever will be. So then it became clear, I have to work on this. Sebastian's company, Kitty Hawk, is now hard at work on Heaviside, a single-seater electric autonomous aircraft. This thing flies at a speed twice as fast as cars with half the energy. It's like a one-person drone, if you like, and it takes off vertically and it flies you at a range of about 100 miles plus reserves. So we've built uh, roughly 10 heavy-side vehicles and tested them, and we're still in the prototype phase. Many companies around the world are working on flying cars, but Sebastian envisions using his to create an air taxi system. The mission is to free the world from traffic. If you want to, say, double the size of a highway, right, what do you do? Well, you're going to tear down lots of houses and build more pavement. If you want to double the highways in the sky, what do you do? You recompile your software. You have a new lane. Wow, that sounds just like Back to the Future, which 35 years ago was science fiction. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. So if our cities won't need roads, what will they need? <laughs>